Hello, viewers. Uh, today we have very eminent personality, Mr. Arjun Rana, with us. You have been invited to present your book, Nine Contemporary Plays, uh, at New York Literary Festival. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a literary festival in New York on the 18th and 19th of November, and it's uh, it's been created by the uh, Indian American Arts uh, Council. Uh, and it's a literary festival that is held every year. So okay. they basically it is uh, about Indian writers, okay. um, whether they're from India or whether they're from America or all around the world. Okay. So they have two days of presenting all uh, lots of writers. Okay. And I see from the list that last year they had Barkhadat, they had uh, Arundhati Subramaniam, and they had Deepthi Nawal okay. to start today to right. name a few, opportunity to engage with the literary world, with people who love reading books and thinking and worrying about yeah. India. That's so, great. So, so the first, uh, I, I was very happy that New York uh, has invited me because the first play in my nine contemporary works mm -hmm. is a play called A Terrible Beauty is Born, okay. which was a play a, a set in Gurgaon mm -hmm. and New York. So oh, it's, it's, it's about a call center in okay. Gurgaon okay. and then a lady, an old American lady who after 9-11, the planes crashed into the buildings mm -hmm. and yeah. you know. yeah. so there's an old lady searching for her daughter okay. and she has no connection with her daughter except the credit card caller okay. who calls for dues. Okay. She, he calls and says, Give me, you, you owe us money, give us our money. And that call happens in Gurgaon. <laughs> and that call yeah. happens from Gurgaon. Right. Yeah. So it's a whole story weaved around the connection between, mm -hmm. uh, between. Well, I began, um, I was passionate about acting all my life. Mm -hmm. And I began, well, I did my first school play. Um, and I was the, the hero in it. And one of the other other students who was in it was Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. So okay. it's from Saint Columbus School. Also there. Yes, he is also the hero of my my first film, which I I, I did. Okay. Uh, sorry, I was the hero of the first film. You were the lead. Yeah, it's, it's okay. called Annie Gives It Those Ones. Okay. And um, he was playing a small part in it. Shah Rukh Khan was playing a small part. A small part. In it. Okay. So. So yes, I so that I was always very keen to be an actor. Then in uh, late eighties, after I finished college, I went to England to train as an actor, okay. and then I decided to come back to India. Okay. And I did two things. One, I started teaching at the National School of Drama, Rashtriya Natya Vidyalaya. Mm -hmm. I was teaching voice and speech, mm -hmm. and at the same time, I started learning Kathakali which is okay. a Kerala art form. Okay. Um, so I had my guru here in Delhi. Mm. So these both these things have been my main uh, part of my life, which is okay. doing contemporary uh, theater work, mm. either teaching. Mm. So when I was teaching in NSD from 90 to 96, mm. 97, mm. I taught nonstop. Mm. And all those students have become the big Bollywood stars now the big actors yeah, of, yeah. And, and theatre people of India. Wow. So like Nawazuddin Siddiqui, okay. like uh, uh, Ashutosh Rana, like Yash, Yashpal Sharma, Rajpal Yadav, Adil Hussain. Uh -huh. These are all big luminaries now. Uh -huh. So I, I spent a year, a year, two years, three years teaching them, which is great. They, they are your students. Yes. yes. That's great. So, uh, but this is the world we are in where the guru has to say they are my students. <laughs> Zamana Vadalia, like in Sachaye to her. And then with Kathakali, I, I started, after 10 years of working Kathakali, I started combining it with Shakespeare okay. and took it all around the world. So these are my two major mm -hmm. uh, theatre work. Right. So you were commissioned to write plays. Please share interesting incident related to this. Yes, so you see in Europe, uh -huh. they, there is a tradition uh -huh. where the theatre artist will be commissioned. Okay. okay. So you get huge amount of, for one solo play, uh -huh. you'll get up to like uh, 80,000 euro. 
I mean, they'll spend that much money on one artist. One artist. So, for example, in Austria, which was, I, uh, they asked me to do a play in the birth town of Hitler, it was Linz. So, <clears throat> for a whole year, I spent there writing uh, the play, uh, first learning German, mm -hmm. then writing the play, and so there are three characters. Mm -hmm. One speaks very good Punjabi, one mm -hmm. speaks good English, one speaks good German. Okay. And I play all three characters. That's so, great. Yeah, so very it was, a, it was a very enjoyable literary theatrical ex ex experience. You see, Punjabi is my, I realize, my father tongue. Okay. Because my father comes from Punjab, from Lahore. But I never acted in Punjabi. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, then to act, learn and act in German. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And to play all these. So that has been one of my, my highlights, actually, which I, which I love. That, that play is also there mm -hmm. in the nine contemporary works. Mm -hmm. It's a play called Egg Dices, The Snake Sheds Its Skin. Mm -hmm. So all, the, all these nine plays are written from about 2002 or three mm -hmm. to 2023. Mm -hmm and they cover the range of my work in the theatre. Okay. A lot of them were for my solo performance, mm -hmm. which I've now you know, made into plays. Mm -hmm. the, the last, the second last play is also very interesting, mm -hmm. uh, Camp Darwin. So I was 19 days in a quarantine camp during COVID right. in Australia. Okay. So it, it actually tells the story of six characters in the camp. There, the, the police is there, and you know the mm. threat mm. is there. But we were all put on porches. We had a room and a porch, a small porch. We couldn't okay. leave it. But then six people could they could chat with each other okay. and tell stories. Mm. So this is how you know, like terrible beauty is born, mm. is about the World Trade Center being attacked by the plane. So big event. Mm. And then this is about the quarantine camp during COVID again, big mm. event. So how do ordinary people yeah. experience big events? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's 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 how that's what my interest in drama writing is. That's great. That's very interesting, actually. So uh, you got the book review from well-known personality, uh, Ms. Arundhati Roy. This is the other book. This is the Eye of Childhood. Mm -hmm. And the Eye of Childhood is a very personal memoir okay. of my story as a young man. And it's mm -hmm. about a uh, mental breakdown. Mm -hmm. So when, when young actors go to Bombay, mm -hmm. the conditions are very hard mm -hmm. and difficult. So it's a very personal, difficult story. Okay. And her note to me is a very, it was a personal note. Mm -hmm. Uh, when she read the book and was obviously very moved by it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I took her consent to put it on the cover because mm -hmm. she is such a wonderful, great writer. Mm -hmm. that it was a, it, it, it was very, uh, I was honored to get that comment. What made you to write this book, Nine Contemporary Plays and the Eye of Childhood? Can you just brief? Yes, yeah, so uh, the, the, the other book that I've written before this, which is um, Teaching Kathakali in Australia. Okay. So that has been uh, published, uh, that was after my PhD thesis. Mm -hmm. So I did a PhD on teaching Kathakali in mm -hmm. Australia. Mm -hmm. okay, um, and after the thesis, mm -hmm. I, my book was published. Mm -hmm. So it is a great exercise to write a thesis mm -hmm. and then to publish with Rutledge UK, mm -hmm. who are very disciplined publishers, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so I learned the art of editing and proofreading, working on my own book. Right. So I had this whole collection of writing that I had done for the theatre, mm -hmm. which were nine contemporary plays. Mm -hmm. And so I engaged with Zorba Books and uh, it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, the response I got from you and from Zorba Books and the help I got and that gave me the encouragement to put these uh, plays into a collection um, because otherwise things get lost mm -hmm. and all this through all these years people have been asking me for my plays mm -hmm. and I've been shy to publish them because uh, plays are written for the theatre mm -hmm. so it takes some skill to make them literary works right it was only after finishing my PhD and thing that I gained that literary. Mm. 
पीआई ऑफ चाइल्डहुड इज अ वेरी पर्सनल यू सी सच्चाई ये है कि दिमाग की कमजोरी दिमाग की बीमारियां ये परेशानियां 20 30 40 साल पहले कोई बात नहीं करता था बुरा माना जाता था लेकिन टुडे स्पेशली आफ्टर कोविड एंड एवरीथिंग इट्स इट्स नाउ बीन मच मोर एक्सेप्टेबल एंड सो दिस इज अ वेरी 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 पर्सनल डिफिकल्ट स्टोरी व्हिच पीपल शुड रीड एंड दे विल फाइंड Uh, once they get over the difficulty of the narration you see mm-hmm. if the narration the narrator is breaking down mm-hmm. how do you tell mm-hmm. a, a rational story right right so it solves that problem and and, and therefore i'm very uh, happy that it's there in book form and eventually you write so that uh, something of you stays on you know yeah that's the that's the, the, the right. beauty of a book so uh nine contemporary plays is your second book with zorva books and earlier the eye of childhood was published uh we are very much i mean it's our pleasure to have you as uh, you know author here so how was your experience with zorva books in terms of getting the book published in terms of communication in terms of the quality of the product yes the the, the most important thing is the quality of the product is excellent and in fact after the first book got published i there were many australian publishers mm-hmm. who were also trying to engage with me mm-hmm. um and i said no the zorba gives uh, you know a, a excellent quality so why should i publish in australia mm-hmm. so the quality at the end which is what really matters yeah uh, was is excellent and the process also is kind and gentle you know writers are in their own kiosk mm-hmm. and in their own uh, arrogance also in the, so so zorba was very patient and attentive which means that every time you send an email you get a response quickly you know and, and the whole process was very smooth and happy with that thank you so much for your opinion for this much information so wish you the best thank you so much for coming so thank you